Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing about classroom management. 1. Establish clear rules and expectations. Develop a set of clear, concise, and easy-to-understand rules that outline what is expected of students in terms of behavior and conduct in the classroom. Make sure that students know what is expected of them and what the consequences will be for violating the rules. 2. Build positive relationships with your students. Show your students that you care about them by taking an interest in their lives, their interests, and their academic progress. Make an effort to connect with each student individually and create a positive, supportive classroom culture. 3. Use positive reinforcement. Praise and reward students for positive behavior and academic achievements. This will encourage them to continue working hard and behaving well in the classroom. 4. Encourage student participation and engagement. Engage students in the learning process by encouraging them to ask questions, participate in class discussions, and work collaboratively with their peers. 5. Be consistent. Consistency is key to effective classroom management. Make sure that you enforce rules and consequences fairly and consistently for all students. 6. Use technology effectively. Utilize technology to engage and motivate students as well as to manage classroom activities and assignments. 7. Plan ahead and be organized. Plan lessons and activities ahead of time and be organized with materials, supplies, and resources. This will help to minimize disruptions and maximize instructional time. 8. Create a positive learning environment. Use classroom decor, lighting, and seating arrangements to create a positive and welcoming learning environment that fosters a love of learning and respect for others. By implementing these strategies and continually reflecting on your classroom management practices, you can create a positive and effective learning environment for your students. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below.